Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and this reading is for the twin flame soul connections out there. It won't be for everyone watching, so if it resonates with your storyline, please comment down below. And if not, be sure to check my channel for other content and messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid, so feel free to reverse roles however they apply to you. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss future readings. So of course, thank you so much to my new and returning subscribers. I love you guys. You're amazing. I hope those of you who celebrate had a happy Easter. Thank you to those of you who reached out to me and um, sent me well wishes. I appreciate you guys. Um, and of course, uh, please also stay tuned because there will be changes coming to my website soon um, for my pricing on private readings and my availability. So for those of you who still want to take advantage of the low pricing on private readings, I would suggest doing so this week. Um, and for those of you who don't already connect with me on social media um, and keep you know an eye on those type of things, you can find all of my links in the description box below. So I hope you didn't think that because of Easter I forgot about your intimate extended bonus reading because I did not. So again, this reading is for the twin flames, the soul connections, whatever label it is that you identify with. This one is for you. We are going to be digging in into the energy of the divine masculine and peeping in the windows and seeing what's going on using the Casanova tarot. So if you are under age 18, please click off this video and have a blessed day in the Lord, lest your eyeballs be burned from their meat sockets, causing permanent scarage. So other than that, if you're sticking around for the nasty shit, let's get started. We're going to use the Romance Angels first and see what the general energy is uh, of your person. So again, whoever that might be, whether you consider this person your divine masculine, your soulmate, um, just remember that on these journeys, the main goal is the goal of self, okay? Coming back and finding union within your own self. So whether you resonate with the divine masculine or the divine feminine or the roles reverse sometimes for you, it really just depends on where you are in your spiritual journey. <clears throat> so as you focus on your ascension and remember that you are whole and beautiful and complete all on your own without a meat suit holding your hand and validating your feelings, then you're in a good spot. So <laughs> anyways, let's dig into the drama and see what's going on with Divine Masculine um, and how they are truly feeling, what their true desires are um, as far as the Divine Feminine is concerned. So let's see what the general energy is. This can resonate for anyone. And like I said, if it's your message, you will know it. Do not force the storyline to fit. You won't offend me if you click off the video. If you just want to stop by and say, hey, and tell me that you're not watching tarot readings anymore. I love that too. So let's see. Wow. Okay. So let's talk about these cards. We've got finances and career and we've got, oh, stay optimistic about your love life and new love. So for those of you who are um, struggling financially or you know your person is struggling financially, um, right now could be a time where uh, your person is just really trying to gather their resources, really trying to get their shit together. They could be dealing with some financial snags, um, really working hard, busting their ass. Um, basically, this could also be like a difference in status for some of you, and that's not for everyone. Um, and so since this energy comes up in the recent past maybe for some of you like maybe like your person could like come from money and maybe you don't or vice versa maybe there's just a difference in in wealth status when it comes to you and your person and maybe that's kind of driven a wedge between the two of you again that's not for everyone but for some of you like I said finances and career can mean a ton of different things for a lot of divine masculines I feel like that has been the focus just trying to build their stability and like build things back up after the recent tower moments that we've all been channeling. So <clears throat> stay optimistic about your love life, new love. Okay. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So I kind of feel like 
perhaps this could be a message for those of you who have maybe been in separation for a long time, maybe wondering like when your divine masculine is going to get their shit together. Um, this could be a message for you like to stay optimistic about your love life because there's going to be a new love coming in. And again, new love could be your person from the past resurrecting a love or you finding someone completely different. So it could be different for different people watching, but I do really feel like if this is your person's energy, which is what it's intended to be, perhaps they've been working their asses off for such a long time that they haven't really been able to like come up for air and pay attention to what it is that they're trying to manifest or what it is that they're wanting to do, which is take advantage of this new love, okay? And so maybe they're struggling right now to remain optimistic in their situation. Again, if it involves money um, and there's a struggle there, that that can be very like <clears throat> what is the word what's the word I'm looking for like emasculating I think that's the word it can be emasculating for a man like not being able to provide or not being able to like have a certain level of status and so a lot of men end up burying themselves in work just like busting their ass trying to get to some some next level some promotion something that they think is going to make them happy but at the end of the day it's like okay when you focus so hard on those things you don't really have time to focus on what it is that you truly love and so maybe some of these masculines are starting to kind of open up their eyes and realize like oh okay I have all of this opportunity for love um, but I'm not really seeing that I'm, I'm being more negative because I'm focusing more on physical things so so yeah take that as it resonates so let's dig into the Casanova tarot and see what's the deal what's this divine masculine doing what are they thinking in their conscious mind <clears throat> about this situation <clears throat> excuse me oh my goodness so first of all I'm gonna take all the cards that flipped over because there were three <clears throat> so we have Hold on now. Okay, we have the hanged man. I was like, what is really going on in this card? <laughs> it's the hanged man. We also have the eight of wands. Interesting. Kind of reminds me of the six of swords more than the eight of wands. That image of them in the boat. Um, but we'll talk about that too. And then we also have the chariot. So interesting. This divine masculine is, is like I said, they're opening their eyes. They're seeing things from a new perspective. So let's get on with their heart space. What are they truly feeling right now? What's going on in their heart? Okay. So we've got three and three so far. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay. So we've got the five of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, and the devil. Oh my gosh, you guys. Some of these masculines are feeling really bad right now, like really low, really bad. Um, and a lot of them are really dealing with, with shadow parts of themselves. Maybe that, that maybe might be a little overwhelming for them. So how are they currently viewing the masculine? Excuse me. How are they currently viewing the feminine at this time? Oh, Lord. Okay, so they're viewing the feminine as the four of pentacles, or they're viewing you, okay, however you identify. What are their intentions, or what actions will they be taking? Oh my gosh, okay, so we've got the ten of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So we've got eleven pentacles as their actions moving forward, and what are their true desires? <laughs> No, don't do it to me, Page of Pentacles, please. Let's get one more card for, for their true desires. Spirit, can I get a clarity card, please? Okay, so we also have the moon and then the king of wands. Okay, so hmm, interesting. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about the bottom of the deck first, actually. 
So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So in the recent past, this masculine has really been going through it. They've been carrying a lot of burdens. They have been dealing with a lot of stress, living for others. Um, but overall, I see the Ten of Wands as like putting in the work, right? Putting in the soul work for the journey ahead. And it's the ending of a really tough and arduous cycle. Okay, so recently some of these masculines could be putting down burdens and really, like I said, putting in all of their uh, their energy, their coins into something that they actually enjoy now. Um, in their thoughts, though, with the hanged man, the eight of wands and the chariot, I kind of feel like they really want to get this show on the road. They're ready to repel from this building and escape in this boat and get the fuck out of here, wherever they are. I do see the Eight of Wands normally as messages of passion, um, love at first sight, Cupid's arrows, but in this card specifically, like I said, it reminds me of the Six of Swords, the imagery. And so there's this element of the masculine like escaping from a shitty situation and moving into calmer waters with the feminine energy okay and so I also feel with their heart space coming up as the five of pentacles that's a lot like they they're feeling really um left out in the cold right now they're feeling this lack like they're it's like they have to live without their feminine and so because of that they end up like okay well first of all let's talk about this imagery right here okay we have Casanova eating this woman's ass and she's loving it and then we've got this guy over here with the peg leg he's outside of the building he's barely hanging on for for life and then we've got the devil okay we've talked about devil titties she's probably fine as hell but her reflection is the devil because there's a shadow that needs to be dealt with and so whatever the devil represents for you and your storyline addiction um lust um you know codependency toxicity this could be just a feeling of being bound to their situation because with the seven of pentacles although we've got this nasty situation going on here we know this to be a card of like planting seeds and waiting for them to grow but the problem with the seven of pentacles is a lot of times it takes so much time and patience that it's like the it's almost like, will it ever grow? Will this ever grow into something? Um, the masculine feels like there's not a chance in hell that these seeds that were planted with the feminine are actually going to grow because right now they're dealing with the devil, okay? There's this devil energy. And you know what? Some of you, this could be your masculine feeling that obsessive energy towards you, being pulled towards you or being like obsessed over the situation. Because if they feel, okay, for those of you who resonate on the storyline of like your masculine chose someone else over you, if you kind of feel like your masculine has done that, just trust and believe that in their heart, they're feeling that now. They're feeling it as if you chose someone else over them because them feeling left out in the cold and wondering if the seeds they planted with you are ever going to grow, feeling like they missed an opportunity with you and obsessing over um, this connection now. It's like, oh, how the tables have fucking turned for this divine masculine, whoever they are, because I feel an energy of, of like of this new love. It's like here you have this love on the table and yet you have this masculine who is stuck in some sort of a situation, whatever that might be. This could also be a mentality, but if it's coming up in their heart space, I really feel like what they're wanting to do is to come out of that um, cold and like, that dank energy and move this along like I said they're wanting to get this show on the road they're wanting to show this feminine that they're obsessed with them they also see this feminine as an asset um, they see them as as someone they don't want to let go of it's like they see your value okay you watching 
your person sees your value. They understand that they don't want to let you go. They could be holding back their energy from you, but they see you also as working on your own stability. They see you as someone who is smart and who is able to, to stack their coin and to invest because they are the investment, right? That's how they see you as the investment. That's what I keep hearing. So interesting. I also love this 11 pentacles deal here. So the intentions of this masculine is to um, create a life of stability. It's to commit. This is a long-term commitment and like ancestry, legacy, um, you know, family history, family tree is what I'm hearing. And so with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a brand new beginning. This is a tangible brand new beginning, something real. I feel like for a lot of you, and this has been coming up a lot, for a lot of you, this could actually be your person intending to propose to you, intending to commit to you. Because the Ace of Pentacles is the golden seed of opportunity. There's a promising future ahead. So this masculine wants to make things official. They want to provide a life of stability. They want to have it all with you. And so as the uh, Page of Pentacles comes up in the True Desires, this person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they want to take it slow. It's like, yeah, they have their coin, they're coming in, but they're not coming in hot, okay? They're coming in very slow. <laughs> they want to build something stable, though, okay? This isn't some fly-by-night thing. They want to build stability, and they know that they're going to have to do that from the ground up. The Page of Pentacles is a student, and so I think that this person just truly desires to learn and to figure out how to make this offer and turn it into something stable. And then also with the, um, with the energy of the moon and the Knight of Wands, you could also be connecting with someone who is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, um, or this could actually be their moon sign even, um, if you want to take these cards literally. But when I see the moon, I think of like the hidden feelings or the deeper emotions that are under the surface that you can't see. We know that the moon makes everyone crazy, right? And it, and it, kind of forces us to act on our true inhibitions. And so with the King of Wands showing up after the moon, I just feel like this person really desires to like be their true selves. This person really wants to like take action and move things forward in this connection from a place of not just stability, but from a place of like soul purpose. I think this person deep down has very, very strong feelings and um, they could also be the type to like get emotional, <clears throat> but um, I see the King of Wands as someone passionate, someone who knows which direction they're heading and goes after what they want without any fear. And so hopefully your person, whoever's watching this, whoever's resonating with the storyline, hopefully your person intends to come forward in the energy of the King of Wands because that's the type of energy we want. That's that big dick energy, okay? We want the big dick energy. We want someone who's gonna come in and be absolutely 100,000% certain about pursuing us, right? We don't want some wishy-washy um, page. We don't want someone who doesn't know what they want. We want someone who is very fucking certain and is not afraid Okay, we also don't want someone who's a coward. We want someone who is not afraid to come forward and claim what's theirs, to claim someone. And I don't mean like in a possessive way, but like to say, hey, that's that's my girl. You know what I mean? To claim someone, to, to stand up for them, to defend them, to go after them and pursue them passionately. Like that's what I feel like a lot of us want. And so hopefully whoever this is resonating for, like I said, hopefully your person not only desires to come forward in that energy, but actually will, because what they're wanting to do is take all of that energy and turn it into something tangible. And that's important. So Again, I kind of feel like this storyline is for those of you who have been in separation for a long time. Maybe your person has been um, dealing with some issues, like I said, um, ironing out like details and things behind the scenes, things that you wouldn't really like know. Um, but anyways, so let's go ahead and see what else we have. I'm going to get clarity for all of these and then we will, of course, get some other messages 
So let's dig deeper and find out more about what's going on in this person's conscious thoughts. Okay, so conscious thoughts, we have the hermit to clarify. Let's clarify the heart space. So we've got three. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. Repeating cards. So we've got the ten of wands. The five of pentacles again, clarifying the five of pentacles. And we've got the emperor. Oh my goodness, you guys. <clears throat> I think this video is going to be called Big Dick Energy because that's what I'm really seeing right here. Um, King of Wands and the Emperor coming out. I feel a very decisive energy coming from whoever this masculine is. <clears throat> They're definitely seeing things in a new light. Um, let's clarify how they're viewing the feminine. We have the Five of Swords. Interesting. Let's also clarify their actions or intentions. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. And then also, let's clarify the Page of Pentacles, the Moon, and the King of Wands. Okay. Wow, so we've got the Queen of Swords to clarify. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, bottom of the deck to clarify the Ten of Wands from the Casanova Tarot is the Five of Wands. So, again, not only burden, stress, living for others, toiling to try and complete karmic cycles, but also dealing with a lot of pushback, a lot of aggression, a lot of arguments and fighting, and, and just kind of feeling like, Whoever is masculine this is has had quite a battle on their hands, okay? And then also, you know, there's that element of competition. So, you know, some of you, okay, they could be also coming to that conclusion that like they put you in a situation that that you didn't ask for. Um, maybe they're kind of realizing that they dragged you in the middle of this and kind of put you in a position where you needed to compete for their attention. Um, and while they were too busy living for others and dealing with their karmic cycles, you got pulled into the entanglement, okay? And so... <clears throat> Interesting. So I'm going to actually put this card over here so we can see that Ten of Wands energy. And then I'm going to put the Five over here. Because that looks nice. So let's talk about uh, the Hermit. Okay, we know the Hermit and the Hanged Man are very similar. Except that with the Hanged Man, that's Spirit's way of hanging you up by your feet and saying, Hey, 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 look at this. Whereas the Hermit is someone going within on their own, of their own accord. Hermit, to me, strong Virgo energy, obviously. Excuse me, all of a sudden I feel like I'm about to have the hiccups. <clears throat> but it's not happening. So the hermit knows that they have the answers within. The hermit is wise and, and they know, like I said, that everything that they need in life exists from within because they are source. Hence, they hold up the lantern. It's like they're illuminating their own gifts, their own powers. And so I think that um, right now, if, if this person is gaining that new perspective and becoming enlightened, I think what they're becoming enlightened on is the fact that like they're in control of moving things forward, basically. Like they're the ones that need to move things forward and they need to start like speaking those passionate messages. They need to start like getting in the carriage and I keep hearing getting the show on the road. So for whoever that resonates for, I think this person definitely knows the deal. They know what they need to do. Um, they've probably spent a lot of time alone and, and in introspection trying to figure out like their moves or like how they feel even because with the five of pentacles <laughs> coming out to clarify the five of pentacles, I just can't. So first of all, two of the repetitive cards, the ten of wands and the five of pentacles, it's like... <clears throat> 
this person feels left out in the cold because of the of the burdens that they've had to carry for others perhaps but as we know the ten of wands is self-imposed so maybe this masculine kind of got themselves in a situation where they kind of had no choice like they signed up for something and now they need to do it basically um but like i said i kind of feel the energy of like sacrifice here this masculine has been carrying all of this on his back um meanwhile like on the inside i feel like in their heart they're just fucking broken like they're broken they're out in the cold they're doing all of this work they're trying to complete these cycles but they're just feeling broken and so with the emperor coming out after that it's almost like this masculine has been pushed into the dark night of the soul and it's made them see the truth of like who they really are which is the emperor the fucking emperor okay like you're the divine masculine dude do you not understand like it's time to get the show on the fucking road. Like, you're the one in control, Divine Masculine. You're the one that everyone's waiting on. And that's what's coming to light for them. All this time that they've spent toiling in someone else's, like, life, trying to complete all of these cycles and do all of the things for everyone and carry all of the stress and the burden, they realize now that they've only been hurting themselves. They broke themselves. God, what's that song? You broke me first. Like this masculine, whoever this is, has risen up in their power because they've been thrust into the dark night of the soul. But they know now that they actually did that to themselves. So all the seeds that were planted that we talked about earlier, they know that they didn't grow because they missed the boat. They missed their opportunity. Okay. They dropped the seeds, but they forgot to water them. Okay. <laughs> So again, dealing with the devil, now they're obsessing over the situation. They're obsessed over you because they realize that they fucked up. They realize that they went down the wrong path and that they've been carrying all of these wands on their back and it's not gotten them any closer to you. Um, but it has gotten them closer to who they are. And that's, again, the whole purpose of these journeys. It's not for the romanticism. It's to, to grow, uh, to become our highest version of ourself, to uh, ascend in our spiritual journey, okay? And so uh, now that this person is coming to that realization and they're feeling that divine masculine power, like, rise up from the depths, um, again, they wouldn't have found this power. They wouldn't have been able to embrace that unless they had to go through that dark night of the soul. They had to go through all of those hard times. You don't just wake up one day and say, oh, you know what? I'm the divine masculine or I'm the divine feminine. No, you have to go through so much shit, so much shadow work. All of these things need to be completed and done lessons and so on and so forth for you to grow and evolve into that higher version of yourself. It's not just something that's handed to you it's not something you just like get plopped in your lap um this is something that you work fucking hard for and that's exactly what the masculine has been doing and so for them um viewing the feminine and the four of pentacles and then clarify that by the five of swords <clears throat> i think a lot of the masculines are seeing the feminines walk away uh we know this is the energy of like winning at all costs so if there have been any like harsh words or like petty arguments between you and your divine masculine, they're seeing you doing that to like protect your own ego basically. And so yes, you're saving up, you're working on your stability, <clears throat> but they could be viewing you as like the energy of like walking away to spare yourself the embarrassment essentially. That's what I'm hearing. So I also see the five of swords as like wanting to clear the air. And so for some of you, they could just kind of see you waiting on them. Like they could see you kind of waiting on them because they maybe walked away from you. Uh, maybe they said some harsh words to you to kind of like get you to, to like let go of them maybe. And that might not be for everyone, but that could some be someone's scenario. So anyways, the Wheel of Fortune clarifying the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. It's like this person intends to move the wheel forward because they know it's their destined path. They know that they were put here for a reason, that they met you for a reason. They know it's their destiny. 
okay? Maybe this person hasn't really been like up on their luck recently and their their intentions are to change that. Their intentions are to turn that finances and career energy into something that's stable and, and real and and awesome and amazing, right? Like the Ten of Pentacles, I see that as having it all. With the Ace of Pentacles next to it, that's the golden offer that we were talking about. That's them coming forward and offering commitment, offering stability. And so the Queen of Swords clarifying the King of Wands and the Moon and the Page of Pentacles. <sighs> them rising up in that big dick energy and the King of Wands energy and like addressing the, the deeper feelings below the surface. I think that their desire to do that stems from the fact that maybe they already know that this is you, okay? Maybe you're not a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but if this story is resonating for you, I feel as if this person desires to come forward in that energy because they already know that this is you. They know that you're waiting on the truth from them. They know that you're not going to tolerate any fucking games from them anymore. You're not going to tolerate any confusing or misleading situations because you want clarity. I think a lot of you have made this clear to your person, which is why the Queen of Swords has her sword in the air and she beckons because she's asking for the truth. And so I think that whoever's divine masculine this is, the reason they're planning to bear it all as the King of Wands um, <clears throat> with the moon, with the Ace of Pentacles, all of those things is because they know you're not going to fucking accept anything less. You're not going to accept any excuses from them. It's like if this person doesn't come in and give their all and truly like move things forward and like be the fucking man, um... And again, man, woman, whoever, but if they don't step up and really truly take control of this passionate energy and take advantage of this new love, then what the fuck are they even doing? Like, go away then. If you're not willing to bear it all, if you're not willing to stand up courageously and go after what you know in your heart and your soul is meant for you, is your destiny, like... If you're not going to do that, then just fucking go away, okay? I said it because I feel like some of you are waiting on someone to like show you who they truly are right now and perhaps you have walked away from this person and maybe you like to check up on their energy every now and then because you're just kind of wondering when they're going to come back in and, uh, and for some of you, like I said, this is happening. This is going to happen. This person intends to like make it all happen for you they want it all with you and they know that if they don't come correctly that they can't come at all okay especially not with you so let's go ahead and see what the gypsy oracle has to say as far as any blockages or things of that nature and i'm actually going to go ahead and move these cards down because i thought i was going to have a less room but as it turns out these cards are smaller than i expected so I was going to use my small table for this reading, but I didn't think I would have enough room. And here I am with all kinds of room. So that will just have to do. So let's see what's blocking this connection. Let's find out what the storyline is behind the scenes. Yeah, so we've got Lover. We've also got Fortune, which is the Wheel of Fortune again. We have Servants, Melancholy, Sorrow, oh my god, and young woman 
and death. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's talk about this. So with the lover card, I feel like this person um, really is just wanting to come forward, right? And share how they truly feel. Just basically with like what I said earlier. But the problem is, is like maybe right now they're not so up on their luck. Like I said, they're going to have to put in the work to turn that wheel and really make this fortune happen for themselves. Uh, whether that's physical fortune or just like I said, luck in general. Um, with the servant card and melancholy and sorrow um it's that ten of wands energy and that five of pentacles energy again melancholy and sorrow coming up right next to one another with the servant energy this is someone working for others this is someone's sad feelings you know pain loss grief Okay, and so again, maybe like it was necessary for this person to feel those things and to go through that servitude, quote unquote, however that resonates, um, in order for them to truly realize how unhappy they were. Um, you know, and you don't, like I said, you don't just rise up in your divine masculine or feminine energy just because you do so because you have to, because you have to go through the tough stuff. You don't just get there quickly. You get there as a reward for the hard work that you do. So with the young woman and the death energy too, I just kind of feel like, um, again, with this new love energy, this young woman could potentially be you, the viewer. Okay, and with the death energy, we know that to be like a transformation card. Um, hmm. I kind of just feel like this person knows that they need to completely transform their approach, perhaps transform, you know, who they are in a sense, um, in order to come forward and make these offers or, or like come forward and be honest about how they feel with the death card. I kind of just feel like there's been some sort of ending for this person. And even though maybe they want to come towards you, there's going to be like a time period where they're still kind of going through this energy and cycling it out. Okay. Um, endings, Yes, they lead up to new beginnings, but that doesn't mean that there sh there shouldn't be a time for healing or for um for getting your shit together in between, right? And so uh, I'm I called to look at this card again here with the Eight of Wands that looks like the Six of Swords. <sighs> healing, forgiveness, all of those things they require time. And so, like I said, maybe the issue for this person is they're really sad because they want to come forward and offer you this new love. But right now, they're going through some endings that are requiring their full attention at the moment. So let's get some lovers oracles and see what the advice is from spirit. <clears throat> this could come across as messages from spirit or from your person, just depending on the context of the cards. So interesting so we have only time will tell oh my gosh and i'm smacking the camera across the room already oh gosh we've got cards falling on the floor and that's just too much so we're going to stop shuffling wow so first of all we have only time will tell and then we have time again so for some of you, like I said earlier, this could be a situation where you've been in separation from your person for a really long time. Um, you're trying too hard. Give it time. So spirit is telling you that time is fluid. Okay. Time is not actually real. And so what might feel like a long time to you might not feel like a long time at all in another world or another dimension. <clears throat> time is is perspective okay and so I think that spirits reminding you that like you know also divine timing is a thing so if you are trying too hard or you're pushing too hard for something you're actually kind of telling the universe that you want more of that pushing you want more of that energy of wanting it so I think for some of you the message here is to kind of let go of the expectations of when someone is going to say the things um, or when someone's going to come forward in general I think that spirit is urging you just to let things play out organically okay look deep within your heart and you will feel my love 
My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love that. And like I said, it is true. The whole point of the twin flame journey is to look within yourself and to realize that you're whole and complete. Okay? You don't need anyone else. And so when you love yourself, you actually are loving your twin flame and vice versa. So if that is how you resonate with the twin flame journey, um, you know that the love never dies because it exists within you and you are your twin flame. So life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. Right. Like I said, go with the flow. Let it, let it happen organically. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Exactly. There are no wrong choices or wasted time. Um... And so I think also it's important to say too, like when they say that there's no right or wrong, like the only, the only like wrong that there is, is you not taking a risk on something that you love. Okay. And so healing, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light, feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So I love that practice like visualizations of that caliber and imagine those type of things and watch them come into fruition. I love that. So let's end the reading and get some eternal messages and see what this divine masculine has to say. I'm dropping cards on the floor. I know you're not surprised. That one flipped over too. All right, one more shuffle. Okay, let me grab this one on the floor. So first of all, we have I do pray about us. So this divine masculine is praying. They're thinking about you. They're asking their angels and guides about you. Um, and so we also have I don't want to hide this connection anymore. So I do feel like I said the energy I was picking up on is someone who is wanting to get the show on the road, wanting to come out of the cold and manifest it all. And so of course they don't want to hide it anymore. They want to come out with it. They want it to be real. We also have, I've been expanding my spiritual knowledge. So with the hermit and the hanged man, I mean, absolutely. Um, we also have don't think because we don't talk. I don't want you because I do. So if you're not talking to your person right now, your divine masculine, they're telling you just because we don't talk, that doesn't mean I don't love you, right? They still love you. They still want you. I've thought about having a family with you. Absolutely. With that 10 of pentacles, they want it all with you. Some people don't want to see us together, but I don't care. Yes, no, no one should care, okay? If people care, you should ask yourself, like, why? Why the fuck do you care about me being happy? That should be your question to those people. We also have, I've thought about surprising you with a date. Love it. Somebody surprise me with a date. Let's go. And then also we've got, I was in denial. So interesting. Maybe this person tried to deny their feelings for you and just bury their head in work, like I said. But it's impossible to deny how you truly feel. You just can't. It's not something you can lie about. Oh, and then we have the sexual thoughts that run through my mind. What did I say? I was picking up on that big dick energy earlier. I feel like this person is definitely obsessing over you right now. They're obsessed and all they want to do perhaps they just play it over and over and in their mind like just going over and over thoughts of you and them together like whoo I'm getting chills 
So anyways, you guys, I know this reading was kind of short. Actually, I just looked down. It was 43 minutes, so maybe not so short, but I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, please stay tuned to my um, website for changes coming this week. Um, also, look forward to lots of things coming. I will be going to the beach this weekend, so I'm actually going to be filming um, and doing some recordings out there, so stay tuned for beachy vids. Um, other than that, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope to hear from you in the comments and in messages. I love you. I hope you stay safe and I will see you soon. Bye.